this tired, weary traveler. All right, you want have. fish? What should I have? Oh, for me, I recommend you to have the mahi mahi. Mahi mahi. Yeah. This afternoon, we're on the northernmost tip, Ilocos Norte, Philippines, the northernmost section of the country. Wow, this area is just insane. It's like a uh, Ubud. Kind of reminds me of Ubud in uh, Indonesia. But here we are on the northern tip of the Philippines, just the tip. Very iconic little town. Hi! <laughs> Probably scared that little kid. Wow, look at these houses. You know, I, I really believe that the storms just don't hit this area as bad. In uh, where I live in southern Leyte, and where I see in Samara, a lot of the times you see a lot of patchwork on the houses because the typhoons come and they blow everything over. And I mean, look at the roofs here; they're they're all monolithic in structure. You don't you don't see all the patchwork that you typically see, like in Southern Leyte or in the Samara area. Man, this is absolutely gorgeous! Wow, you know, it really with the with the windmills, it, it really gives it such ambiance. Such a nice aesthetic touch to the surroundings. Gorgeous. I wonder when the harvesting time is here. It's probably pretty soon. What gear am I in? Number two. This thing is really peppy in the first and second gears. Let's just enjoy the scenery here a little bit. Banana trees. Man, I'm lucky. I'm a very blessed individual to be able to see all of this. I, I haven't seen a foreigner here. Not one. Not one not one foreigner. I've been here like three days. Oh, wow. So we're headed north, just winding through this, these rice fields, and uh, there's a resort up there that I thought was pretty interesting, at least on the reviews. It's a windsurfing resort on the very northern part, kind of away from any other hotels, but it, it, it seems to have a lot of reviews. It isn't very cheap. We're going to find out. Stop here and see what's going on. Put the bike in the shade. Calapim food house? Looks pretty clean. Looks beautiful. Hello! 
How are you? Can I have the chips, the the Nova chips? How much? For everything? Here. No, 50 is okay. Yeah, thank you. No, no, no thank you. Yeah, thank you. Unseat, Bihon, Canton, Spaghetti. Very nice. Let's get the view of this place. Wow. Amazing. Well, <laughs> not a lot of people to interact with. But it sure is gorgeous. So I don't know what it is about the Ilocanos or Ilocos Norte, but typically this would be made out of a bamboo, but it's all hardwood here. The woodwork and the craftsmanship here is just is unmatched anywhere I've seen the Philippines. And so we continue the journey. I left it on. What a genius. Ah, uh, here we are. Kingfisher. Since 2011. Hello. How are you? Can I go for lunch? Yes, sir. Yes? All right, my friend. Thank you. This can be kind of tricky in a car. I would think this is it right here. There's a bar up there. How you doing? Hey, how's it going? Good. Let's see what he wants. <laughs> Do you have Hi. lunch? Hi. Hi, how are you? Good, how are you? Good, good. Oh, look at this guy. Hey, how's it going, buddy? It's yeah. gold and love. Love, 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 love. Well, what's his name? Um, uh, it's Smokey. Smokey? Smokey? Yes. Oh, I'm sorry. Come here, Smokey. He's very friendly. Smokey the dog? Yeah. yeah. He's a dog fish, actually. <laughs> hey, how you doing, Chris? Nice to meet you. Hi, come here. Are you the owner? Or? No, I just run the kitchen. Oh, okay. She's the admin. She's the one that runs I'm the resort. Like, uh, oh, nice very nice you. to meet you, too. Uh, can I eat? Yeah. yeah, sure. Is that okay? Of course. Where no, should I course. eat? Should I eat here with you, or should I eat there, so there's here, out there? All right, so there's the beach bar, which is up there, which sits over the beach. It's a beautiful day today. You might want to sit there. Okay. You can order from there. They have, they have, so the food here, so the restaurant here, so we have, and we can serve it up there. We have smoked meats, we have good sandwiches, we have fish and chips, et cetera, et cetera. Okay, so. do you have a menu? Yeah. Yeah, yeah sure. Cool. This All right. Now, you out on a ride? Solo? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, yeah, so, I live... so the walkie-talkie is not connected to anybody else right now? Uh, no, it's connected to me. Oh, it's for your phone. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> yeah, the yeah. The brewery is actually run by a friend of ours who's a brewer. There's a brewery over there? Dude, they've got like eight beers on tap of really good fucking beer. 
Uh, and then, so the restaurant, we just, I just took over the restaurant. I have another restaurant in Poway. I don't know where that is. Uh, south of Luwak. So okay. it's, right, it's, it's about 20 minutes from the airport, just yeah. south of Luwak. Yeah. The, overlooking the Poway Church, which is a UNESCO World Heritage Site. So okay. we came up, uh, the owner asked me to take over the kitchen of the main, the, the main restaurant here. So we took over December 1st. Okay. The beach bar is run by us. It's, it's run by another woman who has a restaurant in... Laguna, Laguna, south of south of Manila. Yeah. So they're different. different sounds sounds things. complicated. It's all right. It's easy enough. Yeah. The only it's a pain in the ass with the resort for the guests because the billings are all separate. Oh. Okay. But it's okay. But it's okay. It's okay. Yes. So we have uh, we have smoked meats and sandwiches and stuff. Actually, the here the main menu is there. These are the main menus. What do we have from the specials? I don't have any steak here. I can make everything else. You have any fish type type of? Yeah, so we have a nice mahi mahi steak served with. Uh, How some, much is that? Was it five twenty five? Five fifty? Five fifty? Oh yeah. What, what what do you think I should? What five twenty five? What do you think this tired weary traveler? All right, should you want have? fish? What should I have? Oh, for me, I recommend you to have the mahi mahi. Mahi mahi. Yeah. Mahi mahi or the or fish, fish and chips. chips. The fish and, really the fish and chips are made with mahi mahi as well. One yeah. is one is uh, cooked on the griddle. And the other one is deep fried with the beer batter. And well, I'm a true glutton, so can I have both? Yeah. Uh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Nice and then what about uh, what about shakes? Uh, so oh. the shakes we can order up there. I don't have any shakes here. Okay. Yeah, we will because we're yes. fixing the sinks. Yes, sir. <laughs> so they have like <laughs> mango shakes, mango shakes banana, shakes, banana shakes. Yeah. Um, yeah. It's in here. That's in this menu here. So where are you from? Well, I, I live in Southern Leyte. Okay. Oh, nice. So you're, you been how long have you been in the Philippines? Five years. Okay. Five years. He's still a relative newcomer. I'm a newcomer. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> how long have you been here? Since the very. <laughs> I'm trying to ask how old she is without asking. Yeah. She's twenty. <laughs> she's twenty nine. Twenty nine. I'm twenty nine. Just kidding. Okay. <laughs> I've been here since 1997, so okay. I've got a couple of years on you. Is there a surf here? Uh, all right. So this is. A really, really amazing kite surfing and windsurfing spot. Okay. Yep. But the surfing sucks, especially today, because if shallow. you look, it's not even a wave. Yeah, it's yeah. dead. Um, well, it's nice for and there's no nice wind. day. Stand up paddle. You can do so. There's stand up paddle. Yeah. And you can do kayaking, but there's a surf spot in Baliao, which is Blue Lagoon. Yeah, there. yeah. I came from there. I'm okay. actually. Mm. But there's no there's there's no surf now, is there? No, there's no waves. Yeah. yeah. And there's no wind. There's no wind and there's no waves. So yeah. everybody who's here for water sports is kind of shit out of luck. Yeah, yeah. This starting but I think tomorrow. tomorrow. I think this weekend tomorrow. the wind's coming. Yeah, yeah, starting tomorrow there's going to be wind. Friday, yeah. Saturday, Sunday are looking beautiful. We have a cool. lot of kiters cool. as of now. Uh, you surf? I try. Try. I was try. in uh, Hawaii last week. Okay. Surfing on the North Shore. Oh, and then nice. Here, here I am. In the North Shore of the looking like now. Looking like a complete, a complete goon wearing this, yeah, driving right. around, you know. And then the little cafe racer, the classic 250. There you go. Well, let's. Um, so one mahi mahi and one fish, fish and chips. chips. Yeah. Perfect. Oh, here it is, the kiteboarding. Yeah. All right, who's good at foosball? <laughs> so we don't have a ball. <laughs> <laughs> That's the most Philippines thing I've heard today. It's the most, it's the most uh, Ilocano thing ever because from yeah we can. No, they have a, they have a, a ping pong ball, <laughs> which apparently is not really the same thing. Just a ping pong ball. Perfect. Well, I look forward to the food. Yeah. So where are you from originally? So when we, the wind is on here, yeah, you got to come back. When the wind is are on, you into, are you Do you kite surf at all? Have you ever no, watched kite no, surfing? No, no, no. I just I've surfed. So but... this weekend, starting tomorrow, yeah, if you're in the area, come. I mean, there's some there's some really good kite surfers around. Yeah, and it's so this is right now. It's super flat. Yeah. So where that seagrass is on the outside, you yeah. see where the little waves are there? That's where it breaks? That's where the reef is. Nice. So inside is flat water, and the wind here, generally when there's wind, it's usually side shore, which means it just goes straight down the right, side, which right. is perfect for kite surfing and nice. wind surfing. Well, 
Um, and you'll get three, four meter waves here and up. The biggest we've had was seven and a half. Nice. That's a big wave. Seven and a half meters? Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, it's about 25 feet, 24 feet big. It was to the top of that thing. Um, he wants to shake. So this, is, this is the beach bar, Rami's beach bar. Hello, can I get a mango shake? You know the plumber around here? I don't need that many, I just need one. The yeah. carpenters aren't any good. Maybe you have any shitty plumbers? <laughs> so that's where the magic happens with the uh, kites. But not today. Not today. Only mango yeah, shakes. Tomorrow. Tomorrow. The tomorrow. This is Rex. He's the resident kite destructor. Hi. Hey, Rex. Hi. How's it going, man? I'm Tim. I'm Rex. Mm. What can you tell me about your place? Um, it's beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> That's normal. <laughs> Good job, Rex. Windy. Beautiful and windy. Yeah, yeah. beautiful wind. Except windy. today. Today yeah. is just beautiful. Yeah, except today. Because today is just flat. Yeah. But normally we have a strong wind here. Yeah. It's good, perfect yeah. for doing some cutting, windsurfing, and nice. we have also like big waves here. Perfect. Yeah. You want to learn and we can... All right. Well, yeah, I, we you know, I'm a... Do you have a, a kite that can float me? I think so, yeah. So I'm, kind of a yeah. Big I'm kind of a big dude. You're not that much bigger than I am. They've got big kites. They've yeah. got big kites for you, so it's all good. Nice. And when the wind's on, you don't need a big kite. It's not about the size, it's how you use it, ah. there, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I know that uh, problem very well. You want to eat here? Sure, why not? Yeah. Let's check this thing out. So, what do we have here? Mahi, mahi. Oh, fantastic. Oh, a lot of salmoriglio sauce, okay. And then your and the potato, fish the and chips. fish and chips. Yeah. Uh, we'll Thank you. Good. I hope they, Smokey, go away. <laughs> go away. Yeah, and he's eating. Hey, hey, come here. Come here. Mm. Very nice. Hmm. <laughs> This is really excellent. I'm good, glad you like it. Yeah, this is fantastic. So, my son is the chef now, so he he took over my reign. I started the restaurant while he was still in school, and he came up a year ago, and I'm now relegated to the pit master. Those are pretty good too, right? Did they cook them okay? Yeah, it's cooked really well. I mean. Not well, as in well done, but right. But as in, it's it's really soft and tender. And yeah, they're both mahi mahi. Yeah, wonderful. Yeah, I'm glad that they did a good job. So I ended up up here instead. So I've been told there's a brewery here. Look at that. Wow. Where'd my uh, brewery friend go? Probably went back and opened the door. This is Jake. This is Jake? The, the puffball I was talking about. Hello, Jake. He's a Siberian corgi. Not too hot for old Jake? Yeah, it's pretty warm. So these are the motorcycles for rent. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, cool. Very nice. Hey, know that. So this is a brewery? Yeah. What? When is it? No power. No power? No power at the brewery. Very nice. We have the menu in these. Oh, that's your menu? Well, the beer is still cold. If you want, oh, you got a motorcycle. Never mind. Don't. Don't. Very nice. And you are you brewing right now? In the tanks?
I don't know what any of this stuff is, guys, but I'm sure you'll know. When was the last batch of brew? What? When was the last um, batch of brew you made? Last week, I think. Last week? Yeah. How often do you make do you make it? What? How often? Every week? Every uh, couple of days? Every two times a month. Two I times think. a month? Yeah. That's... My boss and I the doing the brew. Oh cool. So um, when do you think you'll open? Tonight. Tonight? We need you too. Yeah, for a while. You'll be right back. You're popular. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so is it for? Yeah, so just want to see. This is the... our casita room. Okay. This is our casita room. Come in, let's come. Okay. Oh, we don't have electricity by last Oh, time. no. Yeah, because of the. Brownout. Brownout, yeah. Okay, so this is our. It's queen size bed and it has a separate. Shower room and comfort room. And how much is this? This one is 4,500 pesos. Per night? Yep. Here's the shower room. Oh, okay. Yeah. A little dark. And what's this? It's oh, a toilet? The toilet. Yep. Very nice. We also have a caseta with lock. I'll show you. Okay. with lock so it has a lock so there's a bed upstairs it's a queen size bed also it's good for four packs and separate shower room and comfort room as well very nice yep. we also have here i'll show you our premier room premier room yes. The oh, okay. So it costs 6,000 pesos per night with complimentary breakfast. Very nice. Yes. Oh, here's, here's someone's stuff. Yep. Uh, here's a kiter. A kiter? Is that what you call them? Yep. So Are you a kiter? No, I can't even swim. <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're a Filipina and you can't swim? Yeah. You grew up around the ocean? No. No? Yep, so this is our premier name. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah, this one costs uh, 12000 per night. 12000 Per night. It's locked. Oh, it's locked? Yeah, it is locked, yeah. And uh, during peak season, it costs 15000 per night. During what? Peak season. Oh, peak season? Yeah, but we're currently on high season, so it's uh, 12000 so this is the toilet, and this is the shower room. Wow, it's big. And it has a jacuzzi, and has its own pool. There. Cool. Right? Yeah. It's nice. Very nice. Thank you. Yeah. Hello. Hello. How are you? Right there? Registration? Okay. Ah, oh, jeez, come on. There we go. Oh. Hello. Registration? Oh, here? How much? 200? Oh my god. 200? Wow. You have change? It's the great uh, <laughs> 200. All right. One dude. All right, my own personal tour guide. You're you're my tour guide or you? You? 
Oh, this is your motorbike? <laughs> Follow you? All right, what is your name? Alan. Alan. He, he wants you to race with you, sir. He wants to... He like to race with you. He wants to ride with me? Race. Oh, race. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Who, who would win? He would win or me? <laughs> you, are you a tour guide? Yeah. You're better looking than him, though. How come you didn't come with me? No, he's the, he's the one. Okay, he's the one. <laughs> I don't get to choose my tour guide. <laughs> Why not? Yeah, you can choose the <laughs> He's the one. All right, I get the dude. Enjoy! Oh, hold on. Old Alan wants to race. He's getting off to a good start. I'm <laughs> falling, falling behind. I had uh, shifting issues. So, no chance to choose my own tour guide. Uh, you know, it's like uh, if I'm getting a massage, I, there's no way I'm getting the dude, you know? But, um, Apparently, when you're going to the waterfall, you have no choice. Uh, <laughs> you have to choose the one that chooses you. Which I, I never really believed in that concept. Uh, I was kind of a make it happen on your own type of guy, but some people take a more lazy, fair approach to life. And, uh, Looks like it's me and Alan until the wheels fall off. Wow, there it is. All right, nice. Yeah, time to go swimming, huh? With a few of my closest friends. Very nice. 